Okay, Google. Where is Google Assistant? Here is information from Wikipedia. Oh, it's only available on Google Pixel. Well, let's make it work on Nexus 6P. Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech, and today we're going to try to enable the Google Assistant on our Nexus 6P. Now, the Google Assistant is available currently only on the Pixel XL and the Pixel, but we're going to try to enable it by actually editing our build.prop uh, file, which uh, actually has all the configurations, well, not really sure of all, but main configurations of your Android system. Basically, we'll try to make it think that we have a Pixel XL and then we should be able to use the Google Assistant. Now, in order to do that, we have to root our device. Now, as you can see here, I have two apps. One of them is Build Prop Editor and one of them is Kingroot. Now, Kingroot, sadly, for Android 7.1.1, which I currently have, doesn't work. So, we're going to uh, get rid of that. Doesn't matter. And we will have to do it the old-fashioned way. So basically what I'm going to do is actually uh, root the device via TWRP. Now, one thing I want to mention. Uh, you can flash with TWRP regularly, but you can boot to TWRP if you have an Nexus device without actually flashing it. Uh, this way, hopefully... Now, again, I'm not really fully sure because with Android 7 things have changed, but hopefully if we do it that way, on the next OTA, we'll actually uh, lose, first of all, we'll lose the settings that we're doing today, so we'll be back to Nexus 6P uh, on the build.prop, and we won't be able to use the Google Assistant anymore, probably, and uh, we will also probably lose the root access. Now, I'm going to try to do that uh, that way, so basically uh, OTAs will still work, uh, let's go ahead to the computer and I'll show you what to do and how. Okay, so now we're first of all going to use the ADB devices to actually determine that our device is connected. So as you can see, it is uh, currently connected here. Uh, we're going to reboot to the bootloader. So ADB reboot bootloader. And as you can see in a moment, the Nexus 6P uh, reboots and now we're going to use fastboot boot, and navigate to our TWRP file which I'm going to do this way and that's it now our Nexus 6P is rebooting into the TWRP And now when we are booted to the TWRP, we can go back to our Nexus uh, device and continue. Okay, so let's go ahead and click install. Basically, I already copied the super SU that we need to install. This is it. Now, uh, basically, uh, we don't need much. We just need to reboot after it is installed, although we don't have to reboot immediately and we're gonna hit swipe to install it as you can see it installing the super su placing all the files creating even backups wow that's something new yeah first reboot may take time anyway uh that's pretty amazing that we've added like an internal backup with internal settings and stuff now our device uh, should boot up and should already have uh, root access So now that the device is booted up, I already unlocked it and placed the Super Sue here. Let's go ahead to the Super Sue and check what can we do here. I'm not really sure with the new uh, versions and stuff. So great, it doesn't say that we have issues, so that means our phone should be rooted. Let's go ahead to the build prop. And as you can see, that loads the build.prop, but that's, that still doesn't require the root access. What we need to do is actually edit it. So let's search for uh, model. And for some reason it actually already has Pixel XL. No, I think I know what it is. I tried to modify the, the build.prop without actually routing. 
it didn't work for me, but it seems that it saved something. So that's uh, the thing that we wanted. Now uh, we're going to... Uh, I think it's already even saved. So basically what we are left to do is clear the cache of uh, Google Apps, I think. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Sorry. Now basically we need to search for our uh, Google app and clear the cache. Now it says only the cache. I'm kind of skeptic, but we'll try that. At the moment I'll find Google app. We go to storage, clear cache. That's pretty much should be it. And we have the Google Assistant. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I can help you find what you need and get things done. If you need help, just ask, what can you do? So, how can I help? What can you do? I can help you with lots of things. For example, you can say things like, I'm bored, or recite a poem. Just swipe to see more suggestions. Okay, Google. Not really sure how you can speak with it. Tell me a joke. Scientists recently discovered a new dinosaur that was very intelligent. It is called a thesaurus. I didn't get that joke, seriously. Anyway, uh, you can now use the Google Assistant. So basically, from whatever uh, screen that you are on, you can press Launch Home and it launches the Google Assistant. Now, we're going to try to do something else. Okay, Google. And it works as well. Now, as far as I know, you can say also, hey, Google, let's try that one. Hey, Google. Nope. Seems like it's only, okay, Google. And voila. So, uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> the build prep, for some reason, uh, wanted the access right now, but whatever. So, uh, let's go ahead and ask something, our new Google Assistant. Who are you? I'm your Google Assistant, a new way to talk to Google. That's it guys for today, you know what to do, like this video if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't, although you shouldn't, and as always, don't forget to subscribe, and when you do, don't forget to mark the V to receive future video updates. Currently it looks like a bell on your YouTube next to the subscribe button, so if you ring the bell, basically you'll get notified when I get new videos. Uh, that's it guys for today, as always, see you in the next one.